Hello everybody, Xenomorph Ben here. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. I know, I know. I've been sick, and what's this? Clash Royale? Well, why am I doing this? Well, what the heck. I say, what the heck. Um, I'm kind of a blank to record another anything else right now. I kind of have nothing else to do to record right now. So I'm just going to do some Clash Royale. Now, I, may, I might not do any live battles, because I'm... I get super mad, so what I'm probably going to do for this video, uh, I'm probably going to watch a few, or what we're going to do is we're going to spectate a couple um, arena battles in Clash Royale TV, um, and then we'll see where this uh, this go, and then and then maybe I might do one battle, because I have to get a chest um, at the end, so let's see, Builders Workshop, Royal Arena, Frozen Arena, this looks like it might be a little fun, so let's see, who is our first contest contestant? Uh, I can't say that word apparently. I'm sorry. I'm still getting over being sick. I'm, I'm still a little sick. Uh, how about this one? This one looks interesting. So I don't know. I don't know what what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be. It's kind of like a reaction, I guess. I don't know what to expect. So let's see what happens. So we got Kenneth. I'm probably not gonna be. And I can't. I don't know if that's Chinese or. Korean or not. The point is, we got Kenneth versus the other f the blue person, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I, I can't. So, right now, um, I'm sorry. Uh, so, right now, uh, Kenneth placed down a giant and a musketeer. The blue guy placed down a bunch of skeletons and lava hound. I, I want to say Chinese guy, but I really don't think I should. That should be the thing I should be avoiding. So, that is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna prefer I'm gonna refer to the guy as a blue guy. I know I'm kind of missing this battle, but he put down the ice wizard. Uh, Infernal dragon. I was thinking lava hound for some reason, but he did put down a lava hound. And he's gonna put down another lava hound. And right now, Kenneth is trying to decide what he's put down, and he decides to put down the graveyard. I don't know how well that prince is gonna help. She takes too long to fire, and by the time she starts to fire, it looks like the skeletons would be dead, so she has to re-aim. The blue guy definitely took a big toll from that graveyard. All that Valkyrie is not going to go well. Was that a good play? I don't know. Because that, because now he has to deal with a Sparky and a Valkyrie. And that princess in which ain't going to do nothing. Uh, well, he lost that tower, that's for sure. Zep. Will his... Will his Infernal Dragon get to the tower? The answer is no. Not at this rate. Might get a couple hits in. Ooh, that was so unlucky. He put down... The blue guy put down 20 skeletons as Kenneth's log was rolling in and ended up killing him as soon as he spawned unexpectedly. This is not looking good for the blue guy. <clears throat> oh, there's that graveyard. That witch is probably going to be his best bet against the graveyard. Put... The blue guy puts down a bomb skeleton, or giant skeleton, whichever you prefer. And he is already about to go down. That lava hound's going to quickly take care of that infernal dragon, unless he does something about it. That log is just so powerful. Well, everything over there is dead. He's getting a really strong push. Oh, oh that giant is going to push him back. All he has to do is fireball or maybe even log the tower. There we go. Ooh, that log's going to set him back a bit. He doesn't even need to defend because that Infernal Dragon will die with the Bomber Skeleton. Now it's sure to die with that Valkyrie. Pop. Oh, I didn't even notice that he put down a Musketeer and uh, a Miner. So that's going to that's gonna suck. Oh, that Graveyard. Oh, uh, what is he planning? Is that a good play? I have no idea. They're not as high level, so they're going to die quicker. But it seems to be kind of working. Will that log reach it? Ooh, that was a bad play. This is actually very intense. Oh, is he going to place a second Infernal Dragon? A second Infernal Dragon has reached, has pla been placed. Yeah, this is my first time commenting over something, so please cut some slack. Ooh, that, that miner did a lot of work.
and goes all his skeletons. Oh, but wait, blue guy, blue guy turned it around with those two infernal dragons. There was, he was so, Kenneth, you were so focused on taking down his tower, you completely forgot to start defending. He was too, he was trying to push so hard that he completely forgot to defend his own tower. That was an intense match. Definitely an unexpected turnout. All right, let's see, who do we have next? Hmm. I'm kind of focusing on people with the graveyard because that's a that's a relevantly new uh, card. Same with the tornado. So I, uh, the tornado is more new is newer. Sorry, grammar is newer than the uh, graveyard. But the graveyard looks so cool. So these two people have very similar decks. Surprisingly, they both have Lomb Hound. They both have tornado. I think that's about it, actually. Yeah, that's about it. Oh well, we'll let's see what happens. So today we are fighting. Awkward face and uh, another person with Japanese writing or Asian. I don't know. I don't know what language that is. I think that's Chinese or Korean, one of the two. So again, I'm just gonna refer to him as Blue Guy and then Awkward Face or Confused Face. That's actually more like it. So Confused Face put down. Uh, I'm just gonna do it by color. Red put down a dragon and a skeleton spawner. Blue has spawned a lava hound. Red has spawned the Ice Wizard, and Blue has spawned a Witch. Now, Red has spawned a Lava Hound, which is not really going to affect him much. It's not really going to aid him when he has uh, a lot. That Tornado wasn't very useful, unfortunately, for Blue. Uh, it wasn't really enough. He better put down something to counter that Lava Hound. I mean, it's not going to do much damage, but when it splits, which there it goes... That's when it does its most damage per second. That was so much. Wait a minute, that's a level 1 over there. That's a level 1. Guys? We found there's some kind of glitch or hack or something where, I don't know, maybe. I don't know exactly how this happens, but there's a level 1 right now in the Frozen Arena. I don't know how that kind of stuff happens, but it's, I guess, interesting? I don't know. The point is, if the blue guy loses, all hope is lost. Actually, then again, it wouldn't really surprise me if he lost, because how else did a level 1 get up here? And all his stuff is level 1. I mean all of it. Did he rage his troop? Yep, he raged his troop. So it's kind of hard to commentate when you don't know what happens and then something appears. But that tornado is actually very useful. But his ice wizard will prevail. I still can't believe a level 1. I mean, he's not... Technic... Eh, I guess I can't really say. Right now, they're technically tied. But if the level 1 wins, all hope is lost. That Lava Hound's going to do some work unless he puts down, yep, three uh, three minions. And he places it on the dragon, which is Tornado, which is probably the most useful way to use that Tornado. Oh, what's happening? What's going to happen next? Oh, the three zap. Was that really worth it? Maybe. Not one of the pups. Well, now they're starting to lock on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blue's got this. Blue's definitely got this. If somehow Red can turn this around, again, all hope is lost for this game. You know, some people that I may know, <coughs> sorry, uh, wish for the Tornado to actually drag their own troops so they can get their troops to a building faster. Now, I would kind of like that, but as I said, wait, are those lava pups gonna do it? Oh my god. I think Blue's done it. All he has to do is zap the tower. Oh, mother of god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blue's done it. He's waiting, he's got that zap spell ready. How? How did Red win? Sorry, was I saying blue was going? No. How on earth? 
But what I was but what I was saying before, some people want the tornado to actually affect um, their troops so they can try to push their troops to somewhere, push their troops closer to, to something. Ugh, if I can. Okay, let me think what I'm about to say. Okay, so what they want the tornado to do is to be able to push your uh, your own troops closer or push your troops faster, I guess, so they can get to the tower faster or get to an enemy faster. But then I would just tell them, but that would also mean that your troops would get stuck in the middle unless the middle is in the middle of the tower. Or your also your troops would be taking damage. Alright, so let's see what else we have here. I cannot believe that level 1 won. Uh, it's just insane. Let's see, I'm going to find one where I might be able to pronounce both their names. Robbie Pranky. Yeah, okay, let's see. Eh, it's kind of standard decks. Yeah, what the heck. All right, trainer Benzard, trainer Benzard versus Robbie Pranky. Trainer Benzard is, I guess, being kind of cocky. Oh, he's is Rob Prank. Ugh, forget it. Red, blue again. Blue just logged all of Red's stuff out of the way. This is definitely easier. Really, Red has a Modar and twenty skeletons. Man, he better do something about that. I don't know why he's just kind of letting it go. Oh, that, he's going to put four, four barbarians after he zaps them, I bet you. Yep. And that's why I don't like Sparky. I mean, yes, he's a very good card if you can defend him, but whenever I use Sparky, it seems like I can never defend with him. Already, blue has the first tower, and it looks like red might get the second tower. Because this hog rider is going to do massive damage, even with that ice wizard. But only two hits were done, so that means he's still alive. He needs at least two fireballs and maybe a musket. Or, no, I mean, two fireballs he needs, or a musket and one fireball. Either way, he's going to need two cards to take out that, that uh, tower. Uh, that's, that Sparky's not going to help you much there. Look at that motor shooting across the screen. Now that motor is just sad because he can't do anything. Did not take a scratch of damage. Well, Blue's definitely going for the for the main uh, tower here. What's sad for Blue is that he doesn't have anything to really counter the, the four barbarians. Except the uh, baby dragon, but even then he's not gonna. The baby dragon is gonna kill those four barbarians before they kill his giant. I don't know about you, but Red's definitely looking like he's gonna win here. He's got a motor. He's doing massive damage. He's got a hog rider coming. This does not look good for blue. Not in the slightest. Yeah, it's not going to help with the four barbarians. And he zapped it, so that means it's dead. Didn't matter. Sparky dead. I gotta say, he's doing massive damage, but that's not really going to matter in a second. Unless he can kill that tower. Completely missed that barbarian, or I mean that hog rider. This is a close one, but I'm pretty sure... That Red's got this. There's just no way. And last time I said that, a level one, one. He's like, okay, he obviously knows he can't get the main tower, so he's just going to try to go for that for that tower. But he's completely ignoring kind of the other tower. Oh, he's got to have to do something. Oh, and just like that, he has lost. Blue, you've lost, I'm sorry to say. But a second later, and Blue would have won. He must be furious. Furious. I gotta find the right words. I need a, a word book. Anyway, anyway, that's gonna have to do it. Sorry, I, again, I accidentally clicked the thing because the recording button's right next to the X. So that's gonna have to do it for this video. Uh, I might do one battle, uh, just because that's about 
probably how far I can get. Well, if you want to join a clan, unfortunately, you're going to need at least 2,000 trophies in order to join this clan. But if you want to join Royal Heroes 1, feel free to. But I don't know why you'd want to. It's a pretty crappy clan. I mean, yes, there's a lot of donations. But, but the leader is so strict that he will kick you out if you don't donate or if you just do nothing, basically. So it's a, it's a nice clan otherwise. So anyway, I'm going to end this video off with me doing one battle. Probably going to lose. And if I lose, then I'm just going to cut the video there. And then I'll proceed to do a battle till I win. But, alright, let's do a battle. So this is going to be a live battle for me fighting Blizzard Man. What a perfect name for this arena. Must have been really awkward before this arena came out when he was named that. So I don't have that great of a starting hand. I'm going to mute him because I don't like taking crap from them. So you have Baby Dragon. I have Baby Dragon too. You also have Infernal Dragon. Are you using an all-flying deck? This guy must be using an all-flying deck. Which is going to suck. Because that just pretty much means... I kind of can't do anything. Um, I mean, I can Sparky. That's about it. I know it's coming. Eh, I have nothing. Well, that was a fail attempt. Yes, I got his tower. This is so far seeming seeming to go well, but let's see how fast this will turn. Is he going to put um, Infernal Dragon down? He probably is. I'm going to wait this time, though. I'm going to wait. I don't really care, honestly, if his dragon does damage. If it's just his that dragon, I don't really mind. It's not going to do too much damage. I can ignore it. It'll probably be like 500 damage. Now, if it's the Infernal Dragon, now that I'm going to have to worry about. Well, he's going to completely ignore that, so do that. Destruction. Well, that spark, he's not going to get far. All I can hope now is to kind of just keep distracting his stuff. Oh, that's just perfect. Thank you, guy. And all that stuff is dead. Oh, can I win this? It looks like I might be able to. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gloat. I won. Thank you, dude. You made me look not stupid. Unfortunately, I only got 21 trophies, which I absolutely hate because I always, I always lose like 30 or more trophies, but I only get back 21, which is what I think uh, Supercell needs to fix. I barely get any trophies when I win, and then uh, they take so much. So get my card here, and there's the crappy expo to top it all off. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I accidentally pressed the pause button, which made it kind of awkward. And this was actually a, a surprisingly kind of long video, but, you know, and I don't really care. And if you want me to do Clash Royale videos, please, please uh, leave a comment saying that you do, or leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Xenorben.